Oh Ma, Wu on. Tonight, from Beijing, China, we've got Art of War 16. Uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey guys, welcome to Wolfman's Friday Night Fights. I'm bringing you some great Art of War action tonight as we got Zhu Bang Z taking on Jaroslav Jarda. Z is out of Yung, Long Yung MMA Gym. With a 7-0 MMA record, 5 subs, 1 KO, so great finishing right there. And Jarda, uh, Jardim is uh, from All Sports Academy, Prague, Czech Republic. 4-4 four four record with 2 subs. So this one should be an exciting back and forth match. Guys, I'll be bringing these fights to you every Friday night. The second one I'm bringing you tonight. It may be late tonight. I apologize with everything that's going on. Uh, in the world and let me know and here we go guys let me know if it's better oh high kick attempt goes in for the uh, takedown double unders see if he can get it is he looking for that outside leg trip kosoto gaki hoist gracie style takedown lands a knee over under position now He's got a good clasp of his hands together, though, in the S grip. And looks like he gets a no reversed by the taller Jaroslav Jardim. Maybe he could look for a darts choke here with that overhook. Lands in the half guard, half butterfly guard. Looks like they're going to slide him back to the center. Pride style. Guys, Art of War looks like it has some amazing rules. Speaking of pride, I think it's very similar. Oh, coming up from bottom, is he? Get his hands close and gets the double leg takedown from the bottom position. Very cool. See if he can stuff that knee. No. Jarda or Jaroslav Jarda manages to get back to full guard, looking for a bit of a guillotine choke here. Out of the Czech Republic, not sure how many fighters come out of the Czech. Looks like he might try to push that leg, go for a triangle. Xiang Kyaku Jimmy. Oh, using that opportunity to pass beautifully. Underhook tight. Could perhaps go for the spinner Rooney armbar. Matt Hughes, Carlos Newton. Uh, GSP style, excuse me, but the ropes were in the way, sliding back to the center position into side control. So guys, I'm doing this with full permission. Shoulder punchy, eat that, Conor McGregor. Maybe he was watching some Dan the Wolfman catch jitsu videos back in the day teaching some Sistema-like ballistic shoulder strikes or landing them against Jeremy Horn before he was unkind enough to knee me in the chin. Taking the back now is Junping Z. Looks like he's getting that body triangle in. That's always very hard to get out of. Especially if you're a smaller waist guy like these guys. It's one reason I like to have my belly of protection and controlling and storing up my chi energy whenever I decide to bust out some Wing Chun, Tai Chi, Pa Kwa, Kung Fu action on these MMA guys. You think I'm joking? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Watch my videos. Maybe I'm not. Landed some good elbows now from bottom. So guys, tonight it might be late. I had planned on 8 p.m. EST, EDT. Uh, we'll probably be a little late, later tonight, or does 10 p.m. EDT, EST time work better for you guys around the world? I want to thank Art of War again. Oh, some good, strong strikes now. Good initial velocity, I like to call it. A lot of guys don't do that. They don't know how to punch with initial velocity. That flash, fast twitch reflexes to get the punch going like a bullet out of a barrel. Bruce Lee style. Trying to baseball grip, clear that hand so he could twist in, but it's so, so very difficult with the body triangle. Sliding off the side now. Looks like he might go for the armor. There it is. 
Gigi Gatani Atepa, no, gets past. Oh, what a mistake. What a mistake, guys. It wasn't a minute left in the round. This is a 10-minute round slobber knocker. What a mistake. Guys, you don't want to give up position of position of dominance where you can strike a guy with gravity on your side in MMA to go for the submission. No, you want to save that for the last, like, 30 seconds of the round. For positions, you know, like like mount going for an arm bar and stuff, or back mount going for that lower percentage arm bar there. I, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but but going for the chokes always higher submission and pounding someone's face in that ancient technique of punch face has always done good. Spawn out now. Oh, and knees the face. Lama Nama Numi would be proud. Gets into the top position in a half guard. Oh, I love these rules of Art of War. Real rules. Keeping the grappler, keeping the jujitsu guy honest. Hashtag keep jujitsu real. Going back to my days of no holds barred fighting at its finest. Just the knees to the head, let alone the kicks, soccer kicks to the head on the ground, changes everything. It really does keep things more interesting, more dynamic, more real. Ooh, shoulder punchy again. And that's what they call it in Japan, shoulder punchy. I don't know what they call it there in Beijing, China. My, uh, my Mandarin is very limited, uh, guys, so... Shishini, she 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 mama. Thank you everyone for watching around the world. Maybe get some Chinese people tuning in that want to work on their English. Just enjoy the MMA action or Wolfman's Friday night fights. Oh, beautiful left Cobra dart punch into the takedown. Perhaps you watched that on my channel. Cobra dart punch takedown entry into knee bump takedown. Fedor, Dominic Cruz, Alvarez style with that punch. But Jaroslav Jardim gets the takedown. Good job by Z getting it back to Butterfly Guard with the double underhooks. Now with the double underhook position, there you go to the hand clasp. You could try the backbreaker there like uh, Donahue with hair once tempted against Henzo Gracie. And Henzo who says, squeeze me like you love me, mother. Love you, Henzo. Now going for the single leg takedown. Getting counter with a Sumigashi double wrist lock. Kimura attempt, it looks like. Let's see if he could crank it. Let's see if he could break that grip and get it behind the back. I think Donahue's death squad all like that Sumigashi. Cranking that hammer lock behind the back now. Manages to get the rollover like Sam Hoger once did to a UFC champion. Still got it pretty good, but now he, he is in half guard. Is he a very good relaxed grappler? Let's see if he can use that or land strikes off of it. Gives up on it now, looking for some ground and pound. We got that double underhook position again there. He could do a some some basic... John Jack Machado style sweeps there. You could try the rocking chair sweep. I've only seen it once in MMA. Kind of a rocking chair. You lift them up and you push them back and you follow their, their momentum, their hips up. I'm trying to remember who did it. I think some, Travis Luter maybe did that. Or Jeremy Horn, one of the, one of those guys in UFC 27 to 35-ish around that time period. All right, knee in the head in the front, headlock position there again, guys, keeping it real. I, I like this Art of War. Look at this, professional, uh, big events, good referees it seems like, good great rules. Z getting the takedown here again, pulling on that single leg. Oh, but nice elbows to the ear. Those are some discombobulators. 
但是查蒂姆是用一个下压弹腿的动作，而谢霆锋抱双腿了。See if he can get the hands together there, might get the double leg takedown. There he does, and he's going to the back. See if he can attack the turtle, Gordon Ryan style. Something you can also pick up on BJJFanatics.com. And while you're there, pick up Dan the Wolfman's Combatives in Street Jiu-Jitsu, four and a half hour digital DVD, which teaches you how to defend against soccer kinks, stops and flying stops when down at the very end of the DVD. Something that we see is very important in today's world. Pretty high in the back there, but oh, he's got smart feet. I hate you little grapplers with smart feet. Sliding out the back door. Oh, soccer kick to the body, soccer kick to the head. I love it. Triple kicks up on him. Jarda jarred him out of the Czech Republic. I'm pretty impressed here. He gets in the takedown. Nice job here. Bit of a half Z guard now going on. Get a good underhook, guys. You want the underhook on the same side as your half guard. Hopefully, you learn along with my commentary. You should definitely check out all my playlists that break down each position. My playlist that I compiled in 2014 on systemizing each position before that was in vogue, a cool thing to do. And that's the end of that very exhausting 10-minute first round. Uh, let's watch the clock, guys, here. I'm, I'm curious how long the break is after the, the first 10-minute round. I really don't know how long that that would be. So guys, Czech Republic never been. They make some great guns though. You guys like your CZs? Well, I've reviewed two guns that ain't even out yet. Beautiful revolver. The AL 3.1. Look at my AL 3.1 revolver review. My AL 9.0 9mm revolver review. You might want to check those out in my best pew pew playlist as we watch some of this action here. Look at that triple kick. Something that guys, all these jujitsu guys supposedly teaching <laughs> self defense stuff when they've never been in a fight, they've never bounced, they've never fought, faced multiple, never faced weapons like I have, guys. I share 16 real life stories in my combatives of street jujitsu DVD. Hello, hi, ring card girl. Wow, look at this. Look at this lights and the, the system. I'm impressed here. I think it's already been a minute. I'm, I'm thinking they get a minute and a half or two minutes after 10 round. You know, if you get one minute after five or three minutes, getting two minutes after 10, 10 minutes might be just about right. Maybe it's a minute and a half. I don't know. Uh, guys, if you're new to my channel, if you happen to be new to my channel, I doubt you are. But if you are, I, I cover all kinds of things. I, I cover all kinds of martial arts. I've done all kinds of martial arts over 34 years. I've lived in different places around the world. I've never lived in China. I've been to the airport once. I lived in Malaysia, though, which is one-third Chinese, one-third Chinese Malaysian. And here we go, second round. Sloppy inside kick there. Naked kicks, Boss Rutten would not. UFC 19, first UFC I went to back in the day. Oh, nice knee to the head from the plumb clinch. Oh, we got a head outside single here. Manages to dump him down. See if he covers the hip. And now there we go. Very good. I think Daniel Cormier would be proud. Look at that grip. That 100% position. You can sweep guys with that there. See if he's able to pull off uh, some kind of neck crank sweep action. Nope. Giving it up for wrist control now. See what he does with that. Oh, he lands some devastating elbows from bottom. Good stuff. 
I remember teaching that back in 2009, Ehow Expert Village, before YouTube really blew up how to elbow good from bottom. You know, this has been very back and forth. Who do you guys got winning this? It's too hard calling it when it's all these scrambles back and forth. And boy, do the knees and kicks to the head make scrambling so much more exciting. It makes it so much more a real fight. I used to, you know, I never ground and pounded that much in MMA, even in training. But boy, did I ground and pound back in my my street fights back in the day when I was in sixth grade fighting the eighth grade son of a mafia don. Another one of Dan the Wolfman's crazy, but true stories. Got pretty scared when there was a 20 group coming in from that family less than a year later to the Italian restaurant I worked at. Yeah, I called in sick that night. Anyway, I'm still alive, so whatever you want to think about that, it is what it is. Taking the back knee hell back to the action. Sorry, guys. A little bit tired with everything that's been going on. Trying to entertain you all on a Friday night. Let's see if Z can attack that turtle. Let's see if he can attack that neck. Ooh, gets a little slam on his head here. My friend Rob would be proud of that. WWE style. First time I was ever on TV. WWE, WWF back then, Tough Enough, first episode, actually the two months leading up to it, my auditions, what kind of Kama Sutra position we got going on now, pulling on his head, but the body triangle is holding him in, if he didn't have that body triangle, he could probably shake him off and pull him over the top, that's when uh, Henzo Gracie was awesome. He had me at his gym, by the way. All he knew me was a little bit, I think, from the underground forum or internet. Knew that I had trained with Dan Severn, and yet there, Henzo, Henzo, uh, you know, accepted me at his gym, even had me. He's like, Dan, you know some street stuff. Teach that cop some stuff. Back when I taught that cop how to spear a guy, my spear system that I shared with other people that, you know, took that nomenclature and made millions, speared a guy into a wall to a short double, stop, hit the groin, and, uh, you know, get a rest in control position. Z still on the back here. Let's see. It looks like, it looks like, yes, he manages to face in now. Does JJ Jonah Jameson Jaroslav Jardim from Czech Republic? Beautiful Prague. I'd like to go someday. In the guard. Oh, nice little kick. Oh, man, he almost kicked his head off just like Yuki Kondo almost kicked my head off into the... Oh, nice. Oh, right high kick to spinning back this there. A 13K combination. Looking for that outside leg trip here. Hoist Gracie style gets him down there. No, getting reversed by the submission wizard Z. Jongping Z on top now. Back in fourth action. Only got 20 seconds left to work in this round. Can we see a late submission attempt by one of these guys? These guys have been bringing it the whole fight. Both guys working hard. I mean, this is like a real fight. Like a real fight. This isn't point plan. I'm guessing they do total fight scoring. Maybe they do total fight scoring the way it should be. Pride style, one style. I don't know, guys. Art of War, let me know. Let me know, guys. Guys. I hope you're enjoying this. You're finding out. She's got some China top team action going on now. Good ground and pound there. Nice little kick off there from Garbo. Oh, yeah, buddy, you gotta watch those kicks. Nice knee from the plum clinch. Oh, he landed that to the noggin. Some hard elbows there from bottom. I don't know what you call that. 
But I think Lama Nama Numi and Deadly Fred would be proud. I think these commentators are having a hard time trying to figure out who won this one. I'd like to say Nihao Ma to the one on the end. No offense to anybody, merely trying to who entertain our fans. That reminds me of some good times I had in Malaysia. With some of the uh, beautiful Chinese, Malaysian uh, women there. You know, I'm a man of the people. You got to enjoy people around the world from all ethnic cultural groups I'm down with anybody that's good people I'm against anyone that's bad people that's pretty much the way it should be what is this? what? a draw? wow the draws are not very common uh, in MMA outside of, of you know two short round events in, uh, in deep usually so Wow, that's uh, that's interesting, guys. But, I mean, it really was. Back and forth with transitions and scrambles uh, constantly throughout the fight. Is that... Was that Buffer? Uh, looks like he's got a Legacy Gym shirt on there. Uh, Legacy Gym, maybe Burkoy, Philippines? I think we see some, you know what, maybe I got to take a trip to China. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to Wolfman's Friday Night Fights. Again, this is uh, going to be uploading very late tonight. Sorry about that. Uh, Desert Force Fight's already up. I want to thank Art of War for giving me the permission to re-commentate this in English, to bring you all this action. Please thumbs up, please hit that notification bell and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on the action. Thanks everybody, I'm Dan the Wolfman signing out and I'll catch you on the flip side.